Hi, hello and welcome back to our channel. This is Geedu Chandra. You are watching the favorite channel Geedu Chandra's Vlogs. Today we are presenting with a new topic, ABG, Arterial Blood Gas Analysis. This is very important skill for a nurse, those who work in critical care settings. In order to truly learn ABG, please watch our videos. Let's move on to the video. Topic, ABG Interpretation. The main contents are definition, normal range, steps, practice, session. Definition. An ABG stands for arterial blood gas and is a test that measures the blood levels of oxygen and carbon dioxide as well as the levels of acid base in the body. In simply, the ABG is a test to determine the oxygen and carbon dioxide levels along with acid base in the body. Normal range. This is very important part of the session. These are the typical normal values you need to remember. pH, potential hydrogen, that is 7.35 to 7.45. PaCO2, 35 to 45 mmHg, that is partial pressure of carbon dioxide. HCO3, bicarbonate, 22 to 26 milli equivalents per liter. PaO2 that is 75 to 100 mm of Hg, SpO2 that is 95 to 100 percentage. So let's move on to next slide. Here the steps. There are mainly three steps. Step 1, step 2 and step 3. In step 1 we have to determine the pH is acidosis or alkalosis. Step 2, determine the issue is respiratory or metabolic. Step 3, identify if it is compensated or uncompensated. Let's get deep into it. Step 1. Determine pH is acidosis or alkalosis. How we can determine the pH is acidosis or alkalosis? See, the normal range is 7.35 to 7.45. If the pH is less than 7.35, it is acidosis. If the pH is greater than 7.45, it is alkalosis. Clear so far? So, let us try this with some examples. Let us try some questions. Only two questions are here. Just try to understand this one. First question. If the pH is 7.28, then the ABG is dash. What it could be? See, 7.28 is less than 7.35. See, 7.28 is less than 7.35. Then it is said to be acidosis. Are you all clear? Yes. Next question. If the pH is 7.62, then the ABG is dash. 7.62 is greater than 7.45. Then the result is alkalosis. Clear so far? Okay. Let's move on to the next section. Step 2. Determine the issue is respiratory or metabolic. In step 1, we have just identified the result is acidosis or alkalosis. In step 2, we will determine the respiratory or metabolic issue. For that, we have to look into PaCO2 or bicarb. The PaCO2 that is carbon dioxide which is controlled by or maintained by lungs and the bicarb which is corrected by the kidney. So this is a very important thing. You have to keep it in mind. So let's get into it. Rome. Have you ever heard of the mnemonic ROM? ROM indicates ROC. Here RO. This RO indicate respiratory opposite. ME. That is metabolic equal. ME. Metabolic equal. Clear? Okay, this is Rome. This is a simple way to remember the second step. That is, we have to identify respiratory or metabolic issue. So, keep it in mind. See one more example. Respiratory opposite. How you can identify it as uh, opposite? See, if the pH value is increasing, then the PCO2 value will be decreasing. They are in the opposite direction. Can you see here? pH is increasing. PCO2 is decreasing. They are in the opposite direction. Here pH is on the lower side. PCO2 on the higher side. That is 
in relation with ph pco2 will be opposite they are in the opposite direction they are always enemies just remember that so then it is said to be respiratory opposite okay then the issue is respiratory clear so let's move on to the next slide see metabolic equal the same thing is explained here ph is higher side and the bicarb is also on the higher side ph is on the lower side and the bicarb is on the lower side the ph and the bicarb are on the same direction that is equal direction can you understand bicarb is bicarb and the ph is on the same direction then it is said to be metabolic when it is said to be metabolic the bicarb is abnormal and is on the same direction of ph it is said to be metabolic equal okay this is the simple step the second step of abg interpretation let's have an example see the question the abg shows the ph is 7.24 pso2 71 and hco3 is 25 then the result is Take 5 seconds to give an answer. Okay, come back. pH is 7.24, that is low. Less than 7.35, right? Okay, PaCO2, that is 51. The normal range is 35 to 45. So, it is on the higher side. And the bicarb here is 25. The normal range is 22 to 26. So, it is on the normal side. See, pH is low. So, according to the first step, we can say it is acidosis. What was the second step? We have to determine it is the issue is with respiratory or metabolic. Here, the PaCO2 is abnormal. In relation with pH, these, uh, these are in opposite direction. So, it is respiratory issue. So, what we can predict? It is respiratory acidosis. Let's see the answer. Yes, the answer is respiratory acidosis. Clear so far? Okay. Let's move on to another questions. The ABG shows pH 7.25. PaCO2 37, bicarb 21. Then the result is dash. Take 5 more seconds to get the answer. Okay. Let's try to solve the question. Here, pH is 7.25. It is on the lower side. That is less than 7.35, right? Okay. And the PaCO2, 37. The normal range is 35 to 45. Clear? Normal range is 35 to 45. But it is on the normal range. And bicarb is 21. See, the normal range is 22 to 26. But it is less than 22. So, it is on the lower side. So, according to first step, we can predict it is simply acidosis just because pH is low. So, acidosis. According to the second step, the issue is with bicarb. See, CO2 is normal here. Bicarb is abnormal. In relation with pH, it is on the lower side, the same direction. So, we can say it is metabolic acidosis. So, let's see the answer. It is absolutely right. The answer is metabolic acidosis. So, shall we have one more question? Okay, let's move on to another question. The ABG shows pH 7.56, PaCO2 40, bicarb 35. Then the result is, take 5 more seconds. Hope you all are ready with the answers. 
and let us check it out ph 7.56 the normal range is 7.35 to 7.45 so it is on the higher side paco2 35 to 45 is that normal yes this is on the normal side bicarb 22 to 26 but here it is higher side that is more than 26 so it is 35 right so here according to the first step it is alkalosis according to the second step here the bicarb is abnormal and in relation with ph it is on the same direction metabolic equal do you remember yes metabolic equal on the same direction then it is said to be what it is metabolic alkalosis so let's see the answer exactly the answer is metabolic alkalosis thank you let's complete the session with another lecture this is a vast portion and it will take a lot of time and you people will be getting bored so let's present the remaining portion the step 3 will be presented in next video so if you are not subscribed our channel please subscribe if you have any comments please mention your comments in your comment box and don't forget to give a thumbs up so meet you again in another video thank you